I am David, your developer on UT, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make NeoVim pretty. The first thing you need to choose is a good font. There are many great options. I'll give you four examples, all of them are free and open source. There's this nice little website called programmingfonts.org and it lets you preview your fonts with some sample code. This lets you easily compare them. So the first one in my list, and this is also my current font, is Iosefka. And it looks like this. I find it very beautiful and clean, and it also supports ligatures. That means some characters, when combined, form a single glyph. So for example, here you have an equal sign character and a right arrow, but if you combine them, then it's a single glyph. The next one on my list is Fira Code. And it's also known for supporting ligatures, as you can see here. It's also very clean and beautiful. Next one is Inconsolata. And you can see there are no ligatures, so equal and arrow are two different glyphs. But it's also very clean. And the final one we're going to look at is Source Code Pro. Also no ligatures. So the question is how to pick the right font for you. This is completely up to you. And keep in mind that next to beauty, you should also take into account how fast you can read the text. To pick the right font, you can use the website codingfont.com, which lets you find the correct font for you. Here you are always presented with two options and you will choose the one you like more. You do that a couple of times and in the end the winner is presented. So for example here, which one do I like more? Maybe the right one because the left one looks a bit funny. So I choose the right one and then it goes to the next step and so on and so on. And in the end you have the winner. After you chose a font, you need to set it up in your terminal. Here I use Kitty. So I set the font to Eosefka term, which is a sub-variant of Eosefka, and also very important, I set the font size. It should be easy on the eyes, but small enough so you can see bigger portions of your code. If the terminal emulator also allows to set the thickness, you should also experiment with that and set it to your liking. In addition to that, you can also experiment with other settings, for example the padding. If you start NeoVim for the first time, you'll notice that the default color scheme is really bad. So let's start it without my configuration and turn the syntax on. It's not really great, for example comments are way too bright or if I highlight something the text is unreadable. Same goes for error messages, in this case it's a light grey on a light red background, I can barely read it. And of course this all depends on how you set up your terminal but usually the experience without setting up a color scheme correctly is really bad. In addition to that, there's barely any syntax highlighting. But luckily we can enable tree setter for the respective languages, then NeoVim can highlight the code based on the information of the abstract syntax tree. To use tree setter, we just have to install the plugin nvim tree setter and then follow the installation guide. It's rather simple, so first you install it using your favorite package manager and then you use the command ts install to install the language of your choice. Once this is done, your syntax highlighting is a little bit better. For example, here the equal sign is highlighted differently, the numbers are highlighted differently and so on. So it's more fine granular, but the colors are still pretty bad. Now we need to change the colors by installing a color scheme. There are a lot to choose from. I recommend going over Rockaboo's awesome NeoVim GitHub repository where there's a list of many great plugins. Whatever you choose, make sure it's compatible to TreeSitter and that it has support for your used plugins. You can also use the topic NeoVim color scheme in GitHub. My favorite color scheme is material.nvim. It is also the one which I'm currently using and it comes with many different styles to choose from, for example oceanic, deep ocean, pale night and so on. And it also supports all the plugins I'm currently using, for example git signs and so on. I use it in the style darker and it looks like this, color scheme material, much better. Now I'm curious, what is your favorite setting to make NeoVim prettier? Which color scheme do you use? Please post it in the comments.
Thanks for watching and stay tuned.